Now, uh, for more on the situation in South Sudan, I'm joined by Ambassador Gordon Bwai, who's responsible for Council and South Sudan Affairs in North America. Ambassador Bwai, welcome to Africa 54. Uh, thank you very much. Now, how do you describe the situation now in uh, South Sudan? The situation is calm. Mm -hmm. The fighting which happened last Friday yeah. uh, has been arrested and there's no more fighting okay. starting from Tuesday. Yeah. Now the shops are open, people are going about with the lights. But there's still there's no concern. Problem. People are fearing that uh, things could easily flare up. Uh, the tensions remain. Uh, what, 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 uh, what are you doing? What is the government, what are, you know, let's say the government of national unity doing to ensure that doesn't happen? The government of national unity at the Council of Ministers meeting on Tuesday, yeah. which was attended by all ministers, including the SPLMIO ministers, the only person who did not, in, uh, who did not attend was Dr. Riyak Mashar, but he already is in contact with President Salva Kiir. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you, what happened is not, a, 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 I mean, a big scale fighting. Yeah. It was only a faction within the SPLAIO that started shooting at, at the palace yeah. while Dr. Riyak Mashar and Salva Kiir were in the meeting. This faction did not support the peace from the beginning since last year. They believe in a new prophet called Munden. So they believe, according to the prophecies of, of, of Nur Prop and Mundeng, that when they come to Juba, then they will start fighting at J1, at the palace, the, and then they will the kill the president. The information we got from there is that there was a confusion here. There was some information that uh, Dr. Rek Machara had been detained, and they wanted to see him. They wanted to make sure he's safe, but they were not allowed inside, or they were not allowed to see him, and therefore they started shooting. And that is when this escalated into a fight. No, Dr. Riyak Mashar, because there is a protocol when yeah. the VIPs are in the meeting, Dr. Riyak Mashar was inside with six security bodyguards. Yes. The rest with arms were outside. So the factions within his group that do not want peace circulated information to his forces that were outside to the Lieutenant Colonel called David Rio Maguet, telling him that, oh, Dr. Riyak is being detained. Yes. So the reason was that they wanted to, to create a problem. So uh, David Rio went to the guard and said that he wanted to get inside the meeting. He was stopped. He was told, no, you just wait for the, your leader to finish. He said, no, I got information that Dr. Riyak Mashar was detained. He was told, no, Dr. Riyak Mashar is not detained. If he's detained, why don't you call your generals, your yes. superiors? And then he started shooting and he shot one of the guards. Mm -hmm. This is how the fighting happened. Okay. Yes. So such but a it terrible, was a planned yeah. plot with the, by confusion. the faction of Mundeng faction, faction within the SPLA. Yes. yes. But this had nothing to do with the no, Dr. Machar No, it has nothing to do with Dr. Riyak Machar. Dr. Riyak Machar. No. Yes. Now, of course, some, recently we spoke with uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Majak Agut and they said that one of the things that you notice or you get, get a sense of in uh, Juba is that uh, the two men, don't seem to have uh, full control of their people, uh, of their forces, and it might be wise that they're out of the picture. In fact, so that you have a more neutral government in Juba. That, that might is, be a solution. That is not true. The, yeah. uh, the only person who is not in control is Dr. Riyak Mashar. Mm -hmm. The government has been in control since 2013, and the president is controlling his forces. Yeah, but we know that... Uh, but the, what, the, what doc, the, I'm, I'm yeah. coming to what Dr. Yeah. Majak said. Yeah. Dr. Majak is coming yeah. from his own political perspective because he is from a group that has been advocating for Riyak Mashar and Salva Kiir to be removed. Mm -hmm. Dr. Majak, when he was a minister, a deputy minister of defense for three years, he did not transform the SPLA army. Mm -hmm. He was even responsible for destroying the army because he, he created a small group of three of his own section followers and building a secretarian group within the SPLA with, yeah. to fulfill his ambition for leadership. Yeah. But at this point, you know, most people looking from outside, what they feel is that uh, uh, the conditions in Juba create for an explosive uh, uh, atmosphere where any of these men can easily say something or do something that will create another civil war. No, not a condition in Juba. Yes. Dr. Riyak has nothing, as a person, has nothing to do with this. He even said it on Friday after the incident when he had a conference with the president. The, the problem is that the international community did not understand the internal SPLMIO politics. The internal SPLIO politics is that there is a faction that is following Nur Prophet called Mundeng, and that faction is not for peace. Mm -hmm. So when we told even our friends, the American and the rest of the Western countries, that look, you need to understand the internal Nur politics, the Nur dynamics, in order to bring peace. Dr. Riyak Mashar uh, and uh, those of Tabande and Gai who are still in Juba, they advocate for peace. But this faction, led by uh, Shiva Sab of the SPLAIO, mm -hmm. believe that the only solution is to remove President Kiir from power through violence. So the problem 
is not Dr. Riyak Mashar. The problem is this faction that you could not control because you remember when the fighting happened in 2013, the most, the Dr. Riyak Mashar was just bringing the loose groups, the white army, different groups. So he was not having control. He was just yeah. a political leader without a military. But he has a military now. Call, now uh, but uh, one of the things I noticed is that uh, there has been a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, exchanges between, say, people who are on the uh, President Kiir's side and those who are Dr. Machado's side that can lead to, uh, you know, situations that can cause war. I, I mean, I have to say this. I was looking at your Facebook, for example, okay. and some of the things you've posted, I have to say, perhaps, if you ask me, are some of the most undiplomatic things I've ever read from a person who is a diplomat. Uh, I mean, I could quote here, for example, you write uh, that um, uh, it, you, you're going to attack the political opponents politically and finish them. You say, I don't believe but in wounding was, the that opponent. That was during the war, right? I believe in... Before the peace was signed. They say, I believe in finishing the opponent once and for all. But that was now, before the peace was signed, right? That was uh, But some of your postings were actually from yesterday. These are things that uh, you said after this uh, fighting in, 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 in Juba. I was responding to the mm -hmm. Riyak Mashar press secretary. Yeah. Who talked to Lieutenant Colonel who started the shooting. Mm -hmm. I think you got that, right? Yeah. The Riyak Mashar secretary who is in Nairobi, Talked to the Riyak Mashar, to, to Lieutenant Colonel David Riau, yeah. and told him that Riyak Mashar was detained. So it was basically the one who explored the situation yeah. by helping the anti peace element group within SPLIO. So I was responding to him because yeah. he was using social media to destroy the peace. Yeah. I think you got what he wrote. But, but as a diplomat, for example, you say, Dr. Riyak Mashar, after you said you found his book, there's a book that was found in his book, yes, and you say, that is correct. this man is really a troublemaker. Now, you are supposed to be representing the government of un national unity. If you write stuff like this about the other partner in the government, does that not incite people into No, it, it doesn't incite people. What, yeah. there is, as I told you, there is a faction. Yeah within the within the SPLA mm -hmm. which is not for peace mm -hmm. and I can even show you there are some videos that you would see is people are inciting North America yeah. calling for ethnic war I think you saw them yes. so now with that book Dr. Riek has been reading so in your perspective when you look at it as is the book I think yeah. you talk you got the title of the mm -hmm. book so the title of the book by itself if it is read by him including these generals who are, for, are not for peace so what would be your expectation? Uh, that was the issue. Yeah, but as a person who is supposed to help actually pro uh, promote peace, you're supposed to be representing people uh, from all sides. You do make a lot of references to ethnic groups, the Nuers and others. And uh, for example, in one place you say, we are a government and we cannot be intimidated, intimidated by anybody. If you want peace, we give you peace. Uh, but if you want war, we will give you war. I'm referring to the, the, to the group that is the, yeah. the, the, the Mundeng faction. Yeah. That is against the peace. Mm -hmm. I think you know that I'm a Nuer. I'm not uh, Ding. Yeah. I think you know that. Yeah. Right? I know so you. now, yeah. this group, because this is why we're saying the international community needs to understand the dynamic of Nuer politics. This group, the Mundeng factions, who believe that the only option for them is war. How do I address them? Because if you are mm -hmm. dealing with ISIS, yeah. well, like what the United States is doing, they're fighting ISIS, right? They are not negotiating with ISIS. But if the, the Taliban put down their weapon and they believe in peace, and then you negotiate with them. But as a government, yeah. if somebody is for war, you have to protect the people. You but have at to this stage, them. are you guys promoting peace? Or some of you might actually be promoting war? Or no, which, which guy is promoting war? Let's say well, I'm the, we are the government. Yeah. So as a government, we are protecting the constitution and the, and the peace so that there is law and order. If and, somebody is yeah. outside the constitution, yeah trying to attack the government, fighting the system, that is the person who is wrong. For instance, the ICE is fighting the U.S., mm -hmm. they are the one that is wrong, right? Yeah. But so this, this case, is a logic of the state. This is a government of national unity. So you're supposed it's to be speaking in one voice. It's the government of national unity, but we have not yet yeah. integrated a force within I.O. that is against the peace. Mm -hmm. Because Riyak Masha himself is not in control of the white army. So how do you address the issue of the white army? Mm -hmm. Because they are fighting the government, and these people who believe in Mundeng are fighting the government, and Riyak cannot control them. As a government, what do we do? Do we allow them to kill the people? No. It's we have to confront them. them. Anyway, this is a yeah. conversation that we continue. We hope to see peace in South Sudan. Ambassador Gordon, thank you very much. Thank you. No problem. Yes, uh, for coming over. Now, Ambassador Gordon Bois is responsible for consular and South Sudan affairs in North America.